Praise the Lord. We are excited to come to you live right here from the thriving metropolis of Versailles, Indiana. And we're back on home territory this week. And I feel so, so, so good. And if you've never been here, we have a 50-acre campus with the, uh, it's very serene, the grass is green, and it's uh, just uh, surrounded by State Park. It's a beautiful place to be. Come visit us sometime for our Schools of the Holy Spirit. As a matter of fact, this weekend, uh, is we're launching our, uh, our, our summer fall semester for our ministry equipping school. And we're covering uh, evangelism topics and we're covering voices. Amen. There are so many voices out there and you need to be able to discern the one voice, the voice of God. Amen. And we're going to have Apostle Robert Gay, author of his new book, Voices. And I know that that will be a tremendous blessing to all of you. All right. And we're always excited to have you online. And I pray that all of you are participating, you know, with what we're doing. Amen. Shouting hallelujah, send up a few stars and a few clapping hands and encourage people that are maybe a little slower to, hey, get with it. And, you know, or you might ask people to join your party. Amen. And see if we can increase our attendance. All right. And uh, we're going to keep proclaiming the gospel and ministering the word of the Lord uh, as he directs. Amen. And so uh, we come to you last week from where? Melbourne, Florida. All right. And so that was uh, uh, an exciting time. And uh, but we're so glad to be back in our territory. All right. Uh, we'll be leaving next Wednesday for California. And we'll be coming live right there from Ventura, California. That's about an hour and a half from Los Angeles and right near Burbank, uh, California at uh, Love International. If you're out in the California way there and you can get to us, well, we'll be doing meetings on that next Friday night there at Love International. And you can find that online. And uh, I know that you would be blessed if you're in that territory all right but they also stream so you might get on stream with me there uh next friday night and then again saturday night and sunday morning so uh we'll be doing three different services out there then we're going to travel from there to northern california sacramento san jose san uh, san francisco modesto and then we'll uh, be going from there to Oregon, amen, Coeur d'Alene, and uh, we'll be ministering a couple churches there, so it'll be a busy time. We appreciate your prayers and that you travel with us and that you stay with us. My prayer for you is that you're always hungry for the word of the Lord, not just a personal prophecy, but you're hungry for the word of the Lord. The Bible says as we hunger and thirst after the word, hunger and thirst after righteousness, we shall be filled. Amen. And so I just believe in you to be full and overflowing with the word of the Lord. Amen. Well, I'm going to open with a prayer and then I'll make a couple announcements later on in the set. And we will be doing communion a little later in the set. So I have my cup and cracker ready and I pray that you have yours, you know, during while I'm praying here. Uh, you know, be sure you get up out of your chair or wherever you're at, go get you a little piece of bread or a cracker and a little cup of juice. You know, you can drink orange juice, grape juice. Uh, there's not really a biblical command of what kind of juice, amen, but, uh, but once we set it apart, it becomes holy sacraments, amen, uh, of communion, all right? And so <clears throat> we're going to be praying over prayer requests. Write out your prayer request tonight, and I'm going to be laying hands on the different requests and praying, so you want to participate with that as well. I want to give a, a commend our team tonight, uh, Pastor Donetta Barrett and, and those that are working with her, uh, you know, in greeting and, and so on. And also uh, our prophetic team bringing our team together tonight. Amen. Brother Mark Martin, hallelujah, and John and BJ Rowland. And they haven't been on the set for a few weeks. So, but uh uh, we're going to be all sharing together. We're all working together tonight, okay? And so, in Jesus' name. You know, just some things heavy on my heart is, one, um, very, very concerned about our nation, about the directions of our nation, and about the focus. It seems like, uh, you know, that we're focusing on things that 
really is going to accomplish nothing and the things that need focus is getting no attention and uh, yet people are hurting our economic is hurting and uh you know it's almost some things it's like it spins out of control you know that's you ever hit black ice on a highway you know <laughs> best way to handle black eyes is just take our hand off the wheel and, and say jesus you take the wheel amen <laughs> and uh I believe that's kind of the way it is with America right now. Jesus, take the wheel, amen, and to begin to uh, begin to direct us. So I'm just sending out a word right now of covering, uh, and I'm breaking off all fear, intimidation uh, of the present and of the future and how things are going to be, amen. That you walk by faith and not by sight. You keep your you keep your eyes on the kingdom light and he'll shine bright in your spirit. He'll bring you through this night season and into your daytime. Amen. And it will be glorious. Amen. So Father, I charge your anointing upon every ear that tunes in tonight and everybody that is a part of this ministry meeting tonight. Oh God, that they will be receivers of the word. God, they get online and they're just so hungry for the word. Oh Father, that uh, God, they put a draw on the anointing, Father. And God, I'm asking you to fill their heart, fill their spirit. Oh Lord, not only with revelation, but fill them with faithful of faith, oh Father, and passion passion, passion for transformation, to see our world transformed, to see our nation transformed, Lord, to see their city transformed, to see the churches transformed, oh Lord, to see sinners transformed from, uh, from, from death and darkness into the kingdom light. So Father, just send out your word of healing right now in Jesus' name we pray. Oh, we do pray over decisions that are being made from our president and from, uh, from all the uh, the senators and the governors and, and all, all the cabinet that is coming together and all the decisions, Lord, with our judicial court, oh, Father. God, I break the spirit of jealousy. I break the spirit of strife. I break uh, undercover things that are under, trying to work underground. Oh, Father, we just break the assignments of the enemy. Uh, Lord, the Leviathan spirit, Lord, that is trying to run rampant in the earth. We take authority over trying to jam communication, trying to twist communication, and, and trying to uh, eliminate a communication. Father, we take authority over that stronghold by the word of the Lord. And we decree the blood of Jesus, Lord, to be released through the airwaves that are our prayer right now. God, our prayer becomes a jamming device in the heavenlies, and we jam every attack of the enemy. God, you said that no weapon that the enemy tries to form against us will be able to prosper. And Lord, Father, we're not in fear of the enemy. Lord, we take authority over the enemy. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now, Lord, I'm praying for miracles, signs, and wonders tonight. Father, that people will be healed in their body right where they're at in Jesus' name. I take authority over cancer and take authority over COVID. Take authority, Father, uh, over blood disorders right now and leukemia in Jesus' name. And we say be healed by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I take authority now over spirits of oppression and depression and oppression and even spirits of suppression, Lord, that try to suppress people, oh, Father, to keep them, oh, Lord, from coming into the fullness of all that you have for them in Jesus' name. God, let every ear that hears us pray, oh, God, Lord, I pray that their faith will be activated and, Lord, that they will begin to speak a thing and decree it in the heart and believe it. And, Lord, you said, if we would do that, that we shall receive it. Mark 11, 24. God, let that word be established into their heart and their spirit now in Jesus' name. I want to pray over businesses and entrepreneurs right now uh, that uh, this is going to be a time, I believe, of, of kingdom impact in the marketplace. And there's going to be more opportunities uh, and, uh, than you've ever seen in your life. And, and you must be instant, in season, and ready for the thing that God is going to do. So Lord, I pray for businesses right now, those that are existing and those, Father, that are going to be launching and those that have had a long-term vision in their heart. Oh God, I pray 
God, for the, the business anointing to come upon them, that entrepreneur, that creativity uh, within them, that ability to dream, that ability to speak those things that are not as though they are and believe it in their heart. Father, I charge a fresh anointing upon each one, oh God, that is joining with us tonight. In Jesus' name, I pray. God, this is a season of divine and supernatural opportunity. Lord, they live in the land of the free, and at this time it is still free. And Lord, I pray that they take advantage of the freedom, oh Father, that you, you have given us in this chapter of your kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. And Father, that they'll stretch out their faith, Lord, and they'll break out of the small place, break out of the small thinking, break out of the small way, oh God, into a brand new day of excitement. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, Father, I do take authority over a spirit of oppression right now that would try to oppress your people and depress your people to keep them from pressing. And Lord, you, you, Lord, you said that, Lord, that we must press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ. Here. There's a pressing in, oh Father. And God, I charge each one as they get online with us tonight, Lord, that there's a pressing anointing that is being released right Right now and as they press in as they push they pray until something happens oh god father that this will be their time of supernatural breakthrough in jesus name we pray i want to pray for families right now and a family anointing a family restoration and i i'm just sensing in my spirit there's some families that have been divided you have sons and daughters that won't talk to you that you've not even seen. You don't know what's going on in their lives. And it's an attack of the enemy to try to break the family unit down. And Lord, I bind it now. Fear, uh, you know, all of these things, oh God. You know, Lord, intimidation. Lord, all of these things, Father, that try to separate people from relationships. Oh, God, we break the stronghold now. Oh, Lord, where people will feel free in their heart, oh, God. Lord, not holding on to the pain of the past, not holding on to the shame of the past, not holding on to the things of the past, but, Lord, pressing toward the mark, pressing toward that high calling of God in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, thank you for healing the families prodigals come home in Jesus' name, children being saved and baptized, O oh God, marriages being healed, communication gaps being closed, O oh Father God, and Lord, that this will be a new season of your kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, for all that can receive it, conceive it, and believe it, they can have it now. In Jesus' name, we pray. God, we just send that word out with power, Lord, to overcome every power of darkness. In Jesus' name, I pray. You know, I've had so many calls about people with knee aches or knees going out or knee breaks down or knee replacements or just knees or the, uh, you know, the torn ligaments in the knees and, and uh, the just wearing out of knees. Uh, so many knees. And you know what? We need to be able to be on our knees. We need a man to be able to run, to come, to go, to do. I want to send out a word of healing right now. If you've had problems with your knees, you've had knee aches or anything, just reach down, lay hands on your knees, and I'm decreeing a miracle breakthrough right now. And God, you're able to heal their knees. You're able to restore their knees. God, I know that you can do it, Father. And Lord, we receive a miracle now in Jesus' name, I pray. Bring the knees into alignment. Heal the cartilage. I bind the arthritis that has caused deterioration in the bones. Oh, Father, to, to disappear, to let, be, let go now. In Jesus' name we pray. And we say, be healed by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' wonderful, wonderful name. Amen. Amen. God is so good, isn't he? I want to pray for heart conditions right now. And just, uh, you know, there, there's the physical aspects of the heart. Uh, somebody's, you know, really dealing with the AFib situation. And uh, somebody has enlarged muscles in your heart. And, and some have weak weak arteries and some have uh, other problems. And, and um, I'm just, I'm seeing a lot of medications going out. But I just believe this is the time of healing. 
Amen. If you'll let your faith connect right now, just connect with me as we pray together. Amen. I'm taking authority over heart diseases, generational heart situations, uh, even broken hearts that have been pained by abandonment and and uh, all of those things. So, Father, I just sent forth the word of healing to the heart. God, you, you said that you know the heart of every, every one of your children, of all of you, of your creation. God, you know the heart, the very intents and thoughts of the heart of man. God, you know everything in the heart. And Lord, just by the word of knowledge, we send out that word of healing right now, and we say, hearts, be healed, be restored, be set free, come alive, begin to thrive, let a bigger vision uh, begin to erupt on the inside of them. In Jesus' name, I pray. I take authority over heart sickness and diseases now, and I command it to go in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we say, be healed, be empowered, be set free. Amen and walk in the land of the living. Glory to God. God's good, isn't he? Amen. I want to pray for backbones right now. And if you've had trouble with movement of your neck or the upper spine or the lower or just in the curvature of the spine in the back, I want to pray for you right now. If you've had that prognosis or you feel that, uh, you've had unrest in your body and you just can't get comfortable and you have continual pain, amen, Jesus is your healer. He come to heal, to deliver, and to set you free. So just stretch your hand out towards the screen right now. Come into agreement. Let's make this divine connection. And Father, we pray over backs right now. I take authority over vertebrae, deterioration, uh, Father, nerves, oh God, that have been pinched, Father, curvature of the spine, uh, arthritis in the spine. Uh, uh, Father, we take authority over it. I even see some pre-surgeries that have been done on the spine uh, that has not worked the way you thought it was going to, but God is still your healer. We're not putting our confidence in horses or chariots or the, or the, the power of men, but we put our trust in the name of the Lord our God. And so, Father, I send out that word of healing right now. Oh God, the backs be healed, straightened out. Be strong in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God is so good. I want to pray uh, over a couple of our men and uh, ones out there that uh, uh, we have a Pastor Durham uh, up in near Fort Wayne area. I uh, recently had poor foot surgery. I have uh, David Elan that had recent search, uh, foot surgery and I've had uh, several others. You know, the Bible says to bless the feet of those who bring good news. Lord, anybody online with me right now, whether it's infected toenails or or the arch of your feet or the or, or just a threat, you have diabetes and, and uh, you're having some problem with neuropathy, uh, just right now put your faith out for a miracle healing in your feet. And so, Father, we just charge that word of knowledge, God, as it goes out. Oh, Father, once the word is released, God, even as it comes to us from heaven, we release it on the earth. And God, your power overcomes every work of the enemy and every threat of the enemy. I bind up pain. I bind up discomfort, oh God. I bind up deterioration and everything, God, that would try to bring devastation. We rebuke its power. Now, in Jesus' name, we pray. You know, as I just said that, I felt a bubbling up on the inside of me of an anointing. And the Bible says that it's the anointing that breaks every yoke of bondage. And I just sense strong, if you'll just lay your hand right here on, in your abdomen area, I could just see a bubbling up anointing on the inside of you and God cleansing you and setting you free. And it, listen, He's going to heal other areas of your body that you was afraid to even ask about. God says that it's all important to me. Amen. So, Father, we just thank you that you're our divine healer. You're our deliverer. You set the captives free. You give us resurrection, life, and power. You give us the hope and a promise, oh God. And you said, Lord, that all of your promises are yes and amen. In Jesus' name, I pray. As I just said that. I saw some little bitty infants, babies, brand new, born babies that are needing a miracle. And so, Father, there's no big spirit or little spirit. Father, we're all just one spirit. 
And Father, we just send out a word of healing wherever that mother is at, that father is at, wherever that child is at, in the hospital or at home, wherever. God, we just send out a word of healing for the little babies and for little infants, oh God, even in the womb. Oh, Father, that uh, God has not been given a full promise of, uh, of life and longevity. We bind everything that would try to cut off the source, oh, Father, of new beginnings, of new generations being birthed and developed. Father, I bind the attack of the devil right now in Jesus' name. You will not curse the womb. You'll not curse God's creation. And Father, we bind the forces of hell and I release the kingdom of light now. And I pray that everybody that hears my voice will begin to fight the good fight of faith right now. In Jesus' name, we pray. God, we pray for righteous laws, righteous judgment upon our land. Oh God, in Jesus' name, we pray. And everybody said, amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Well, we're going to pray more for other requests. Keep those requests coming. I'm just glancing over it. Uh, um, um, BJ is doing writing tonight, Billie Jean, and, and uh, you're keeping her busy writing prayer requests. That's good. Keep those prayer requests coming in. Amen. You keep asking, you keep petitioning, you keep pushing until, amen, you get your miracle. Amen. I believe you have to be adamant and you have to fight. We have to fight the good fight of faith. We don't have to convince God. You just have to break through the darkness and break through principalities and powers. Amen. So I want to just uh, welcome so many of you online with us tonight. I see uh, Jerry and Star Webb. Amen. And uh, well, a couple other names I can't quite read up there. I see uh, Cheryl Falota online with us. And oh, wow, Roseanne uh, McKell. Good to see you. Joyce Kent, you've been there several weeks now. God bless you. Always good to see you back on. John Green, amen. Good to have you online. Susie Hastings and uh, Al McAlpine, good to see you there. Uh, Flora Curtis, good to see you online. Thelma Donna Wells, real good. Good to see you back online with us. And, and so many of you, I couldn't mention all the names that would take way too long. Betty McClary, good to see you. Amen. Uh, the Gerardo family. Robert Gerardo and family, good to see you guys, amen, and uh, Darcy Shannon, good to see you, amen, just so many, Glenn Fulford, amen, we're glad to have you online with us, keep keep popping on, amen, keep communicating online, let's, let's, uh, let's keep this line alive, amen, and people pop in, they're going to find life of the Spirit right here with Apostle Leon Walters uh, on, online here, okay, well, to open a session for just a few minutes tonight, and then I'm going to minister to some people. Then we're going to come back to a little bit more teaching. Remember to get some communion ready. Get your bread, get your cup. I got a little cup of juice here. Amen. Ready for our communion. Get yourself ready. Okay. Amen. I believe in Father God for breaking off the fear right now, fear of the now, fear of the unknown, and just releasing faith for fulfilling your future. You know, sometimes you have to come back to Jeremiah 29, 11, and God said, I know the thoughts, the plans, and the purposes, and the future that I have for you. Listen, God has a whole future planned for you, and the devil is very, very angry, you know, that you'll walk by faith and not by sight. Are you going to hear a revelation, and or you're going to get inspired, or you're going to hear a prophetic word, and it's going to set your faith free, and and you're going to get more adamant about fulfilling the word of the Lord. Amen. God said, I have a hope and a future and a promise for you. Come on now. And uh, and uh, so God wants you to reach out in Jeremiah 29, 11 and just receive that, that word right now. Fear is being broken off of you. You'll not fear the day, the way. You'll not fear the price you have to pay. You'll not fear the things that, that try to come against you because greater is Christ that is in you than he that is in the world. Amen. And I know that he's great. I know that he's powerful on the inside of you. Amen. So we hear the words of Joshua 3 and 4, and I shared this with you briefly last week. Amen. But uh, Joshua spoke to Israel and he said, you're going to have to get up out of the place you're in. You're going to have to go after the goods. You're going to have to go after the Ark of the Covenant. Amen. And keep your eyes, keep your eyes on the Ark of the Covenant of God. Amen. Don't look to the right. Don't look to the left. And, and in that we heard prophetically, 
be aware of distractions. <clears throat> As I just said that with you, some of you already this week have had so many distractions to try to keep you from being on schedule, on time, fulfilling, uh, you know, the word, the promise that you have in your spirit. Amen. But he said, keep your eyes on the ark of the covenant. Amen. And then he spoke these powerful words to them. He said, you're coming a new way and you have not been this way before. I believe as the church, as the kingdom, we're walking in a, we're walking in a new place. We've not been this way before. I've not been through the pandemic before. I've not, you know, now my parents come through, you know, all the, uh, the things in the forties and, you know, the depression and all of those things. I didn't, I, you know, I was just a little, just a little guy. I didn't know it was aware of all of that. But in this season, I'm well aware of the pandemic. I'm well aware of the economic crisis and of the, uh, of the, of the, the jealousies and the things that are trying to uh, deplete America, amen, the free. And uh, so we stand and we fight and we wage a good warfare over our nation, amen. And uh, But I hear the Lord say that you've not been this way before and that the coming third awakening or this tsunami, you might say, uh, will project us, the church, into a place like we have never seen or been before. Come on. When Joshua spoke those words and he said, you have not come this way before, he was saying that I'm going to cause, uh, there's going to be such a release of my kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. And you're going to have to keep your eyes on the Ark of the Covenant. Amen. I heard a prophecy from Bishop Hammond one time. And he said, God is getting ready to take you on an accelerated ride like you have never been on before. And that got into my spirit. And at times the Holy Spirit draws on that, Pastor Donetta, you know, and just saying that, you know, uh, you've, you've not come this way before. And God's going to take you for an accelerated ride. Amen. Uh, I guess the only thing I can imagine is being on a roller coaster that I dearly do not like. <laughs> Amen. It blows your hair back, but I don't have any now. So, you know, but, uh, <laughs> but it can, it can put a little bit of, a little bit of fear in you there, a little bit of scare. Amen. But Joshua is saying, you've not come this way before. It's a new way. It's an exciting way. And, uh, you know, you look at Israel, Israel lived in bondage for like 400 and, and 40 years total, you know, with Kadesh Barnea and uh, the one place that had never yet, been, that they hadn't been yet, you know, was the place of their ultimate dream, their, you know, or their destiny. And it was the promised land. Can I give you a prophetic release right now? Amen. For all of you online, amen. Roseanne uh, McCall, Glenn Fulford, listen, you know, God is saying that I have a promised land for you. Come on. And you can get so caught up in the land that you're in, the place that you're in, the problem you're in, the stressfulness that you have to work through, that you fail to see the promised land, amen, that God is speaking about. And the promised land, you know, for Israel and for us, amen, everything was going to be different. Come on now. The place that God is bringing us into is going to be so different than what you've been accustomed to. Some are going to try to go back to an old norm, but God says, no, I don't want you to go back to an old norm. I want you to come out as warriors of the most high God. And I want you to begin to storm the gates of hell. The Bible says that the righteous speaking about you and I take the kingdom by force. Amen. You cannot possess the kingdom of God without a measure or a level of warfare. Amen. So we're being called in this time as warriors of the most high God, not as an audience, just good listeners and good hearers and case Sarah, Sarah. No, he is calling you forth as the army of the Lord. Amen. And not just to impact your city block, but to bring transformation in your city as a large and as your state. Come on now. And even the nations of the world. So it was for this reason that Joshua and God is instructing his kingdom-minded saints, talking about you, to get yourself ready, for you have not come this way before. Now, I can think of several occasions in, in our life and ministry over the last 45 years when 
uh, we were pulled out uh, of a comfort zone or pulled out of one place and into another place. Or, and, uh, and every time it was advancement of the kingdom of God, but every time it was a challenge. You know, some people give up in the midst of the challenge. I pray that you never give up in the midst of your challenge, but that you are challenged by the challenge, amen? And all things are possible to those who believe and those that receive, amen? So the Elijah revolution in this time and season, this crossover that we are talking about will take us into dimensions we've never seen before. And we could reference past moves of God, like the Protestant Reformation, you know, coming out of the out of the dark ages of of just uh, you might say of uh, of darkness and no worship and you know no no freedom in the spirit. The gifts were everything was silent, was hidden in the caves and the hills, and it was like you know just strictly Catholicism and 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 there was just no life. But in that Protestant movement, God began to bring revelation that begin to set the captives free. Come on now. And people begin to break out. And then we had revivals like the Great Awakening with John, with Jonathan Edwards Day. Amen. When God just supernaturally poured out his spirit or the Welsh revival or the even the Azusa Street revival where it literally fired. You know, people thought buildings were on fire and called fire trucks to come and put the fires out because it was such a real tangible move of God. See, that's what I believe that God is saying. There's going to be such a real tangible revolution of my spirit, amen, that is going to transform the lives of people. Even you have the healing movement, the prophetic movement. We've had the army of the Lord movement. And we're still right now, right in the very heart of the third reformation or third awakening uh, that is happening in the church world globally around the world. Amen. So there'll be nothing to compare. You can't really compare your Canaan promise or the place that God says that he is bringing you into. Uh, you cannot compare uh, your future to your past. Your past is finished. It's, it's history. We cannot go back and relive our past. You can have a memory of the past, but you can't go back there because what was there is no longer there. The dimensions of, of the present Reformation movement uh, and the Day of the Saints, it'll be very, very, very different, you know, from the past. Now, I know what I've experienced in the last uh, 40 years in the prophetic movement, the apostolic uh, movement and breakthrough and, and on into the army of the Lord and the Day of the Saints and the Third Reformation. And, and uh, you know, we've come through these seasons so through this time, but where we're at right now, is going to be very different from our past. I, can I just pray over all of you online with me right now that God will update your thinking so that you will not get stuck in an old mindset or trying to build according to an old pattern because God said, behold, I will do a new thing. And now that new thing will begin to break forth. Break forth in your family, your home, your church, your business, amen, relationships, the call of God upon your life. God said, I'll even give you waters in the desert. I'll give you, uh, I'll straighten out the crooked places in the wilderness. And, and God said, I'll work all things together for your good in this, in this Elijah revolution season and time of the kingdom. So you can't compare the new to the old. You know, God is giving us new wineskins, Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. Amen. You, you can't look at the old. You got to look at the new thing that God is speaking about. I wish I could tell you tonight online, hey, this is exactly what God is saying. You know, but, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get that out of, out of the heart of the Father, just like you are. <laughs> Come on. But it all comes by revelation. It all comes by the time of the Lord. In the interim, you walk by faith and not by sight, and you keep your eyes on the ark of the covenant. Amen? Uh, there's going to be a time of total restructuring of our way, even of our way of thinking. I like Jack, the late Jack Frost book. He coined the term about God restructuring your thinking habits. In other words, taking your old habit way of thinking and just wiping that out and helping you to restructure your way of thinking. Amen. Now, 
you know, sometimes that can be challenge and, and we have to be ready to face that challenge. I pray that all of you online with me are ready to face that challenge because that challenge is already here. Oh, now get ready for acceleration. Okay. In other words, new momentum. You know, I just, God's saying this is the time that I'm going to put the pedal to the metal and I will take you for that accelerated ride like you have never been on before. <laughs> Come on. Now. He's going to cause an excitement in your spirit. You're going to be challenged, but you're going to be so fulfilled at the same time. And our fulfillment, our reward will far outweigh all the challenges that we have to come against in this life. All right. Uh, there's going to be new concentration on following the anointing. Don't get distracted. I, I think I shared with you a few weeks back, uh, possibly three, four weeks ago, where we live here in Indiana. We live in Amish country. And so we have horses and, and their carriages and buggies. And, you know, then they're on the highways. And uh, it's quite interesting, really. And, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, the horses have blinders on them. And the reason for the blinder is so that they will not be distracted by all the traffic and everything that is going around them. So they'll stay in their lane and they'll stay the course. I just want to pray, Holy Spirit, blinders on your eyes so that you can't look to the right or to the left. Come on now, that you keep your eyes focused, amen, on this, uh, on the anointing of God, amen, in this time of his favor on the earth as it is in heaven. Amen. God bless you guys. I, I hope you receive something from that <clears throat> that will challenge you in your personal life, in your business, in your family, your church, in your sphere of influence, and in the places that God opens up to you and that he has for you. Okay? Well, we're going to come back to a little more that we're going to share tonight. And uh, I enjoy sharing with you online. I just pray that you stay with me and that you are receivers of the word and not just hearers only. Okay. <clears throat> receivers means that you begin to be a doer or you work the word. Amen. Put that word of God to work in your life. All right. Well, we're going to pray for a few people. I'm going to call out a few and then I'm going to activate our team for a little bit. Amen. So let's just pray in the spirit, all of you online. Amen. If you're praying in the spirit with me, though, I'll put some hands up there. Show me some faces. Amen. But uh, some activity there that you're praying with us in the spirit. Amen. We're not you know, putting all this on us. Amen. This is something that we are all doing together. Okay. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want to pray for uh, Jimmy Glover uh, online and and uh, that's a familiar name to me, Jimmy. And uh, But I'm just releasing a word to you. And the Lord says that, uh, son, you've been through the fire. You've been through, uh, you might say, the desert. You've been through the dry places. But God said, this is your time, Jimmy, that I'm bringing you out of that dry place. And the Lord says, I'm going to begin to restore back to you. Uh, God said, everything that is, that is needful, uh, to bring you back to spiritual life, says the Lord. And God said, I don't want you to look back at, at who did what and how we lost that and how this went down. I, I don't want you to look past. You can't change the past. But the Lord said, Jimmy, you can change the future. And uh, Jimmy, there's a strong prophetic perception on the inside of you. And I just see it quenched and pressed down and pushed down over and over and over, uh, even to a point where you didn't know if you really wanted to try to even activate that wonderful power of the Holy Spirit. But I just break every assignment of the enemy off of you now. And I decree that you will come forth as pure gold and you'll begin to release the word of the Lord. And it will bring joy to you. It'll bring excitement to you, but it's going to bring fulfillment and honor to you. So Lord, I just charge Jimmy Glover right now, Rabo Shatai, God, that he arises and he begins to fight the good fight of faith. In Jesus' name, we pray. I want to pray for the uh, Gerardo family, Robert Gerardo. Amen. And then I'm going to pray for uh, Olega uh, uh, Amador, Amador. And, uh, oh, yeah, oh, Olega, oh, Olga, Olga. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Amen. Robert uh, Gerardo family. 
And uh, I'm just releasing a corporate word to you, uh, to the Gerardo family. And I just hear the Lord say that this is a new time of favor. And I want you to bind together as a family. And this is the time to unify. And even where the enemy tried to divide and cut asunder, I'll bring together. And God said, you're going to walk with more peace, more grace, more faith. That's going to bring you to a higher place in me, says the Lord. And Robert, I hear God say that you need to arise and be a priest in your own household and begin to declare and decree a thing and believe it in your heart. And God said, you will, your eyes will witness it and your spirit will receive it, says the Lord. And Robert, I hear God say this is a new day of favor for you. Don't try to judge tomorrow based on yesterday. Yesterday is gone and is finished, says the Lord. And God said, as you walk by faith, Robert, and not by sight, you'll see the kingdom light and his power is going to help you to fight this good fight of faith that God has called you into. So Lord, I just charge Robert Gerardo, I bind the spirit of division that has tried to divide, cut asunder, to separate. I bind it now in the name of Jesus, and I decree life and that more abundantly over you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. So, Olga uh, Amdor, just want to pray for you, and then I'm going to pray for Barbara Ann Cox, all right? Uh, uh, but, Olga, just hear God say, uh, fight the good fight of faith. Stay in the race. Uh, don't be distracted looking to the right or to the left. And I hear God say uh, that the enemy uh, has tried to set you back, but God said, I'm going to use the setback as a kingdom set up for a kingdom come back. And God said, I'm bringing you back stronger uh, than you have ever been, says the Lord. And there's a strong prophetic anointing, uh, an ability of a seer to be able to see the things of the Spirit. And God said, you're going to begin to see deep into my heart and deep into my purposes. And the things that are formed against you, God said, will not be able to punish you, will not be able to uh, restrict you or to keep you from what God has called you into. And, and I just hear God say, I'm lighting a new fire in your heart. And God said, there, your testimony is powerful. The Bible says that you overcome by the, by the blood of the lamb and the word of your testimony. And so as you release your testimony, I just uh, I really sense there's some souls that you're going to affect and, and ones that are going to come into the kingdom of God just because of your testimony. So Lord, I just charge this uh, daughter Zion right now and I break the assignments of the enemy and I decree that this is a time of life and even abundant life. Oh, Father, that will put an end to all the strife. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Barbara Ann Cox, I want to I wanna pray for you. And then uh, I'm going to pray for Michael and Joy Kip. Michael and Joy Kip uh, following Barbara, uh, Barbara Cox, okay? And, uh, well, <clears throat> Barbara, I just hear a Lord say that, the Lord say that daughter favor comes from me. And I'm, I am your promoter. I'm, uh, God says, I will promote you. I will give you favor. I'll put you on platforms and with peoples, Barbara, that you never dreamed would even be possible. And right now in the natural, it looks like you're being pushed back, set back, and kept back. But the Lord says you're getting ready to come to the end of this chapter, and there's going to be a breaking out. And daughter, I want you to begin to decree a thing and believe it in your heart, says the Lord. And God said, this will be a time of supernatural favor, Barbara. God said, I will restore back to you the years that the canker worm, caterpillar, locust, palmer worm, crawling room, a worm, all those things have eaten away. I will restore back to you, even in a greater measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Barbara, will I pour back into your own bosom and your own spirit, says the Lord. And I hear God say, heaven, heaven has heard your petition and heaven has heard your heart cry, says the Lord. And God said, I will, daughter, tip the bowls in your favor, says the Lord. And God said, be patient, always enduring, uh, keeping the faith, says the Lord. Keep yourself in the race and you'll see my grace, says the Father. Where I want to uh, just pray right now for uh, the Kip family, for Michael and Joy uh, Kip. And I just want to release a fresh charge to you as a family and uh, even your household. And as I pray for you, 
uh, just, um, Michael and Joy, I just hear the word restoration. And God said, this is the time that I will restore my joy. I'll restore peace. I will restore your potential, says the Lord. And I just see like the heavy hand or the heavy foot of the enemy that tried to come down and tried to crush you. But I hear the Lord say, I will use you to crush the head of Satan, says the Lord. And God said, I have put all things under your feet. And the devil is ashes, ashes under your feet, says the Lord. And Michael and Joy, God says, join your heart and your spirit together. Wage a good warfare. Stay in the race. Read back over your prophecies. Let faith be begin to be birthed on the inside of you. And God said, this, this today is like the first day of your life, says the Lord. And God said, I'm strengthening you. I'm empowering you. I'm fulfilling you. And I will reward you, says the Lord, your God. Father, I just charge Michael and Joy. Oh, I just heard the Lord say, release healing miracles upon the two of you. And Lord, I just pray over their physical bodies right now. God, that their bodies are strong. Lord, you are their healer. You're their deliverer right now. And infirmity can have no place in them. In Jesus' name we pray. Receive that word of faith, that word of prayer right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. God is so good, isn't he? Amen. Well, I'm going to invite uh, some of our team up. I'm going to ask John Rowland if he would uh, come up for a few minutes. He's going to call out. Uh, I've challenged him to call out two or three people. Amen. And, uh, and we'll probably have a couple of go-arounds of call-out ministry tonight. Amen. John, good to have you on the set back home tonight. Yeah, it's good Amen. to be back, Apostle. And so uh, I know you've been looking at the main board and just praying over that. And so uh, if you just go ahead and release ministry. Uh, I first have a word for Virginia Richard, Virginia Richard. And then I'm going to minister to Mary Sharp, Mary Sharp. Virginia, as I was uh, sitting over there praying, the Lord was saying to uh, let those uh, people go. Uh, I, I just felt like you've been praying and the Lord says he's heard your prayers, but now it's just time to lay them at his feet and he'll pick them up and take them from there. Yeah. Uh, sometimes the Lord uh, removes some people out of our lives just for a season uh, because there's some things that, that he needs to do. And I believe right now, Virginia, he's just doing a new thing in you. I believe he's calling you from one level to the next level. And he's saying, Virginia, this is the season when he needs you to be in his word and to be in constant uh a relationship with him because he's going to show you a new revelation of his word and it's just for this uh just for a, a season he says but just know virginia that he's with you in all things he'll never leave you he'll never forsake you and he's there by your side to Amen. carry you in those troubled times Amen. Amen. uh mary sharp mary sharp and then i'd like to minister to i believe it's ethel edmund ethel edmund mary sharp i i kind of saw you as uh uh, with that evangelistic anointing that the, the Lord is saying that uh, he's calling you in this season with that anointing, uh, Mary, to go out there and to evangelize his word. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe he's given you favor in, in your community. Yes, I can Lord. see that the, that people are coming to see uh, not the old Mary, but the new Mary. And, and we all know that we have to let our past be behind us. And I believe the Lord is saying the past is the past and now it's time to uh, be uh, for the future. But most of all, Mary, I believe the Lord is just calling you to go forth in some things. I believe that uh, he's He showed you some things. And, and I also believe that he's showing me right now that there's some prophetic words that you just need to, to uh, war over right now and know that, uh, that uh, it's time to take them off the season or off the shelves, I'm sorry, and start to write them out. And as you write them, I believe the Lord will give you a revelation of really what he's saying in this season. And for Ethel Edmund, Ethel, <laughs> I can just see the, the word favor. Just as soon as I sat down, your name just appeared to me, and I can see what the Lord is saying. It's favor. He's giving you favor right now. I believe that uh, there's some things that uh, have come against you. There may be some word curses that have been against you. And I believe the Lord is saying favor now is 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 what he's given. And Ethel, I believe that that you're going to start to see uh, 
the prodigals coming back, if you will. And, and I believe that uh, some have walked away and the Lord is saying they're not walking back, but they're running back. And they're running back because they're, they've, they've struggled. They've been kind of in that valley and now he's pulling them out of the valley and he's bringing them back to you. And it's, it's, I can almost see like that mothering anointing that, that you've always had, but, but these uh, that are coming are the ones that have struggled for so long that wow. that the Lord is all that they can turn to. And he just needs you to uh, to release that word to him that he's there with them. That he's always been there with them. And they were only one step away from him. Wow. So I seal the words over those three. And I thank you for them all, Lord, in Jesus name. Amen. 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 That was good. Awesome. Awesome. Good, good, good words. Amen. I pray that you receive the words that are coming forth online tonight and that uh, you don't don't let it just, you know, get you excited, but really hear what God is saying and position yourself to fulfill the word of the Lord. Amen. We're going to invite Brother uh, Prophet Mark Martin to come up. Amen. And uh, these are all uh, students from our ministry equipping school that is actually launching this Friday. And it's not too late to register. If you go online, uh, you can register three ways. You can attend class or you can do it uh, uh, by Zoom, okay? Or you can do it in personal home study. We have three different methods of study program there. But uh, go and register. Uh, check cicentral.net, Ministry Equipping School, M-E-S, and check us out there. Amen. Brother Mark, amen. I'm going to challenge you to call out uh, uh, two or three people. I All want right, to call yeah. out. I want to call out um, June Williams, and then I want to call out Brittany Brittany Carter. Uh, June, I hear my spirit. Hallelujah, Glory Basiki, Hida Basiki, Hida Bosa. Hallelujah, I hear Jesus is the answer. Jesus is your answer. Don't look any place else. Hallelujah. Trouble to come your way, but you have to cry sometimes. But Jesus will fix it for you. He'll make it all right. All you got to do, June, Sister June, is hold on to God's unchanging hand. And he'll work out every situation for your good. For your good, June. You have to trust him, okay? It may not, it may not be exactly what you want, but he's always on time, okay? So you just have to hold on and trust him. He'll make it all right for you. Father God, I seal this word over June. Oh God, we pray, Father God, that you move by your Holy Spirit, Lord, that you would touch her from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, oh God. Lord, bless her in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord so, God Almighty. While you was praying for June, uh, I could just sense a deeper river on the inside of her mm -hmm. uh, and, and I know it's the river of the gifts of the spirit and the river of anointing. Mm -hmm. Can you just pray over that, that, okay. that deep reservoir, that deep well in her, that this will be a time of activation mm -hmm. of that. Father God, in Jesus name, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you move by your Holy Spirit, Lord, that you touch Sister June from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, oh God. Lord, let her cry out to thee, oh God. Let her yield to your Holy Spirit in Jesus name, oh God. Hey, Lord, I hear, I hear this word, relax, relax, rest in me. Yes. I got it. Amen. I got it, said the Lord, rest in me. Hallelujah. Peace, peace be on you. Your, his peace, oh God. Be on you, oh God. His peace pass it all understanding. Don't try to understand it, June. Just, just rest in him, and he will yes. give you peace. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brittany Carter, and then after that, I want to minister to Tammy Weeks. All right. Uh, Brittany, um, <laughs> Jesus on the main line. Call Ooh. him what you want. Yeah. <laughs> Call him up and tell him what you want. God wants to bless you, but you have to ask yes, him. Yes. And you have to ask him by faith. Don't waver. Okay. So when you ask him, he's going to send you your blessing. Okay. He's going to send you everything you need. Okay. So you have to call him up and trust him. Okay. He will send you what you want. Hallelujah. Amen. Father God, I seal this word over Brittany. Oh God, we pray, Father God, that you move by your Holy Spirit, Lord, that you would touch her from the top of her head 
to the soles of her feet, oh God. And Lord, I can see God carrying you in the spirit. I can see Good. God carrying you. Hallelujah. 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 I can see him wrap his arms around you. And he's making everything all right. Hallelujah. Don't pay attention to the to the trouble that's happening in your life right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is going to fix everything in your life. Hallelujah. Don't even worry about it. Just hold on to his un God's unchanging hand. and He's going to heal the, yeah. your situation in Jesus name. And Tammy Weeks, I hear a word of the Lord for you. Hallelujah. Glory. I hear the word fear not. Hallelujah. Fear not. Fear has torment. Hallelujah. God wants you to hold on to him. God said, pick up your cross and walk with him. But as you're looking behind you, Satan wants to mess with your mind, okay? He wants you to look behind you so you can see trouble in the midst of you, okay? God don't want you to look at the trouble. God wants you yeah. to look at him. Come on. Yes. Hallelujah. When you follow Jesus, when you walk with Jesus, hallelujah, he'll give you that peace that passes all understanding, okay? And his will could be done in your life, okay? Because, see, the Bible said without faith, it's impossible, it's impossible. to please God. Amen. Hallelujah. You got to believe who he is, and he's a, he is a reward of those that diligently Diligent. seek him. Just like Moses, when he led the children of Israel out of Egypt, God warned Moses. God told Moses that he's going to sick the Egyptians on him, okay? Wow. So you got to look at it this way, uh, Sister Tam. You got to look at it this way, okay? God did not bring you this far to forsake you. God did not bring you this far for you to be destroyed, okay? God is going to deliver you. He's just going to look that way. The devil can, can put out a horror movie. If you watch it, it'll scare you. But God said he had not given us a spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of a sound mind. You see, when you have a sound mind, you don't fear, okay? Because wow. when fear wow. come on you, hallelujah, that messes your mind up. Hallelujah. Father God, we pray, oh God, over yes. Sister Weeks, oh God. We pray, Father God, that you move by your Holy Spirit, Lord, that you would touch her from the top of here to the soles of her feet, oh God. Lord, I rebuke the spirit of fear yes, in yes, Jesus' yes, name. In Jesus it's out of God's will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God's, God is love. He is not fear in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 That was, that was awesome. Awesome. Good, 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 good word. Amen. We're going to have uh, 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 BJ, Billy Jean, amen, uh, come up. And uh, she's been writing out prayer requests tonight and and uh, helping to communicate with different ones online. And uh, I'm going to challenge her to call out about three people. All right. And uh, then we're going to go from there. All right. I want to first minister to... Looks like Roseanne Marcial. And then next, I want to minister to John Green. Okay. <laughs> Roseanne, I heard the Lord say, though this time has been one of almost a suppressing of things, God said, I'm about to take you to a whole new level. And he said, there's an anointing on the inside of you even to speak some things, not as though they look like in the natural, but as though they need to be in the spirit. And he said, those things that I've given you to speak, don't hold back those things. He said, I've given you, he said, in the effect of what you do, when you give those, you speak that, he said, you're going to see things fall and you're going to see other things rise that need to rise. But he said, it'll bring a right alignment to many, many things. And he said, look not at what you see and what you hear around you, but know that I am with you and I am with you always. He said, I'm everything you need. I'm your provider. I'm your leader and I'm your protector, says the Lord. And he says, don't take false responsibility up on yourself for too many things and keep yourself too busy. But he said, keep your eyes on me, says the Lord, and I will give you everything you need. So we charge her with that word in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. And for John Green, John, I heard the Lord say, 
take hold of this plow and plow the hard ground. And he said, you're going to plant some seeds and some seeds you may not see come to fruition right away. But God said, you just keep planting the seeds and planting the seeds. He said, you're one that's going to root up some things that don't didn't need to be planted. And he said, you're going to plant some things that need to be rightly planted. And he said, there's some things that has to come into a right alignment, not only in your life, but even in your family's life. But God said, you're the one that I gave you the job to do, says the Lord. He said, I don't, I don't call those that are qualified, but I qualify those that I call, says the Lord. And he said, there's an anointing on the inside of you that's, that's just burning like a fire. And you're saying, when, Lord, when? God said, now's the time. He said, as you open your mouth and you begin to speak the things, he said, you're going to see things in a whole new realm. And he said, deep calls to deep, and I'm taking you into a deeper area. And I heard the word promotion. He said, promotion is coming, and it's not by man, but by me, says the Lord. So, Father God, we charge yes, John Lord, Green Lord, with that Lord. word. Oh, Lord, let your kingdom come and your will be done greater than ever before. Yeah. And the other name I want to minister to is Betty Eller. Betty, I've seen you swinging on a swing, and then it's almost like you just you want to jump off. You're too scared to stay there, but you're too scared to jump off. And it's not really that you're scared. You just want to make sure you're doing something in the right time. And God said, time is in my hands. He said, even though some things may not have worked out in the past, God said, the time is in my hands. He said, I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. And he said, you are not one that needs to have fear, says the Lord. But walk forth because you are a mighty soldier in my army, says the Lord. He said, though you've walked through many valleys, and you've walked through many battles. He said, the battle is not yours. The battle is mine. But he said, there's a surrendering that needs to happen. And God says, I also called you, Betty, even from your mother's womb with an anointing on the inside of you to straighten some things. And he said, as you speak the truth of my word into those situations, he said, you're going to see that they're already going to be worked out even before you get to a battle, says the Lord. And he said, think not that anything has to be other than what I say it has to be. Mm. He said, I have the provision for the vision that I gave you. Even as a young person, I gave you a vision. He said, don't let go of that vision and push forward. And even that teacher that's on the inside of you, he said, began to teach, even if it's in the small things, began to give it out because that's what other people need, says the Lord. So, Father God, we charge her, Betty Eller, with the, your word, Lord, and everything you have for her. Let your kingdom come and your will be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'm going to ask you, uh, we're going to pray together for Matthew and Laura uh, McWhorter. Okay. Uh, Matthew and Laura McWhorter. And, uh, but just uh, just to release a, a charge to them while uh, BJ was ministering to our sister, I just hear the Lord saying to Matthew and Laura that this is a new chapter of your life. It's a new season of your life and that nothing, absolutely nothing catches God by surprise. And the Lord says that I know exactly where you're at. I know your challenge, says the Lord. And God said, I, I, don't, I want you to stand strong. And the Lord said, the enemy would like to talk you out of what I've, what I've brought you into. And God, you know, Revelation chapter 3 begins to speak about don't give any man your crown. Don't give away uh, that anointing that, like Esau gave away his birthright. Don't give away what God has already given you. And the Lord said, even though it looks like you're in the cave, in, the, in that place of impossibility, God said, remind your spirit that with God, all things are possible. And the Lord said, while you're in the place that you're in, I'm still working. I'm still working. Even though you can't see it, feel it, God said, I want you to believe it. I'm still working, says the Lord. And Lord, I hear God say, uh, the hope deferred makes the heart sick. And God said, I'm healing your heart right now. And the Lord said, that it's going to be full of hope, full of faith. And God said, it's going to bring you to a new place and you'll see my grace like you have never seen before, says the Lord. And God said, what I'm releasing to Matthew and Laura is also an anointing of impartation to lay hands upon others 
and to impart the gift uh, that I'm giving you. And God said, as you let the river flow through you, God said, it's releasing the river of heaven that's beginning to flow over your household, your family, uh, your ministry call, and all that pertains to your life. So God says, I know exactly where you're at, and I promise to never leave you or forsake you, even in this time of challenge. So God said, it's a new time of breakthrough. Yes. Father God, Lord, we pray for Matthew and Laura McWhorter, Lord, and let your kingdom come and your will be done. Lord, let their lives be changed, Lord, in the moment, in the twinkling of yes, an eye, Lord. Father God. And Lord, let deliverance come upon them and their household, Lord, and all those round about them, Lord. And we know that you're healing their heart from the inside out, Lord. You're healing their emotions and their minds and their wills from what they've walked through in the past, Father God. Lord, And we know that you are setting them on a new path, Father God, a path that's all about you, Lord. And Lord, as they walk through the things, Father God, they will bind together, Lord. They will unite in unity. Father God with you and they will know that you have brought them through every moment and every trial that they've ever been that you've never left them you've never forsake them and Father God that you own the cattle on a thousand hills and you have everything they, everything need, they need and that you are giving them great healings not only inside their bodies Lord but inside their relationships inside their relationships with their families. And Lord, did you bring in others along to help them, Father God. Renew their strength like the eagles, Father God, and let no weapon formed against them prosper, but let them be risen to the whole new level as you keep them as the angels under your wings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise God. We're going to pray uh, for prayer requests that have been coming in real quick. Uh, we have a uh, a large number of requests, and you stay right here, BJ, and pray with me. And, and I have the other prayer team in the room here praying with us at the same time, amen. But uh, you know, just uh, uh, you know, we have uh, the orange here that is representing uh, miracles, healing in your body, deliverance, um, you know, anything to re in relation to needing a miracle breakthrough. Uh, you know, that is our orange request, and I can't take time to read all of them uh, because of confidentiality, but listen, God knew what was in yes. your heart before you wrote it out, and when you wrote it out and we transcribed it here, God knows every request has been made known before him, amen? Now, keep your requests coming in. We'll, uh, we'll close this meeting out, just sealing a word over every request in agreement with you, and then our intercessors will continue to pray over these prayer requests, all right? Uh, so they don't end here. This is just the beginning of another level of warfare and supernatural breakthroughs, amen? So, Father, we just release your word right now uh, for miracles, signs, and wonders, Lord, to be activated over the lives of your people. In Jesus' name, I pray healing in their body, deliverance to their soul, a peace to their mind. Oh, Father God, a fulfillment of their joy. Oh, Father, an activation of their faith. Oh, God, bring them up to a higher place right now. In Jesus' name, we pray. And God, Lord, that as they've made their requests known, Lord, you said that there's nothing, nothing too big for you. No river too wide, no mountain too high, no valley too wide. And so, Father, just release that word of healing. We send it out to them right now. And uh, if you have, if it's in your own body, it would just lay hands on your body. If it's somebody uh, that you're requesting prayer for, amen, just lay your hand on your heart because heart to heart, we're just ministering to them and we're sending forth this word. Lord, there's no distance in the realm of your spirit. And we speak a supernatural miracle, supernatural breakthrough, signs and wonders and miracles. God, you said these signs will follow those that believe. Yes. And we are believers right now. And we believe the word. We believe the power. We believe in kingdom results in Jesus' name. We pray, amen, amen. I'm going to pray for the, the yellow cards right now. This is dealing with families, with marriages, with, with re restoration of relationships, prodigals coming home, amen, our families being turned around. Yes. And so, Father, I just come into agreement with them tonight. Oh, Lord, as they've made this request known, oh, Lord, Father, release angels in, in heaven on assignment, yes. oh, God. Lord, chase them down. 
run them down, oh God. And Father, draw them by the power of your blood. In Jesus' name I pray. And God, I decree that this is a time of supernatural miracles and supernatural turnaround in Jesus' name. Rabo Shiba, yes, in Jesus' name, the word of the Lord, save their souls, heal their minds, O oh Father God, deliver the captives, yes, set them free, O oh Father, bring them into that precious liberty that you promised to them, in Jesus' name we pray, in Jesus' name, amen, amen. The green represents financial uh, breakthrough, businesses, your business, or your bank account, yes. or, or just whatever it is that you're struggling against financially, I'm just agreeing right with you right now that poverty is broken in Jesus' name. And I'm praying for debt cancellations, yes. bills to be paid off, finding money, gifts yes. and surprises, of, of scholarships and grants for our children. Oh, Lord, Father, supernatural provision and blessing come their way. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. I break the spirit of black and I command it to get back right now in Jesus' name. And devil, all that you tried to rob, steal, and kill, it must come back a thousand times over and a thousand yes. times greater in Jesus' name. We pray. Just reach out your hand and just be a receiver of that blessing of the Lord over your business, your household, your ministry, your own pocketbook or billfold or bank account. I just decree that poverty is broken and a spirit of lack is destroyed. And we're going to give the devil a lack attack through our rejoicing. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We also have some this is one that excites me. Testimonials of breakthrough. Yes. Amen. We need your testimonies to uh, keep coming in and uh, sharing that with us. The Bible says when one is blessed, we're all blessed. When one gets a miracle, we all yes. we are all blessed from that Praise miracle. Jesus. Amen. And uh, we had a, a testimony here. Somebody was praying for a man with cancer. And he was bedridden for three weeks, and now he walks, and tonight, and, and God's glory was on him. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise That's what Jesus. we want to hear. That's Thank what God, God is doing. He's doing it right now. Yes. As we're praying, we're believing God's miracles are working right this minute. Amen. Here's another one. Uh, reconnected with my daughter after 13 years of, of being separated. If you have a son or daughter that you've not had that relationship with, hear this testimony because God is no respecter of person. What he yes. does for one, he'll do exactly the same for yes. you. Amen. In the healing and the restoration of your sons and your daughters is like no time has passed by. Thank you. Thank you, Apostle Leon and all the, the prayer warriors for yes. praying. Thank you for giving us that powerful that powerful testimony. Here's one where it said a heart doctor said heart functioning went from 46% in February, amen, to 55% uh, non-functioning uh, normally. And uh, once continue healing, amen, but healing sometimes is progressive. And so we can see progressive mm -hmm. healing happening here. And we just agree right now uh, if this uh, this person and father without mentioning their name on the airwaves but lord we just send forth that word of healing yes. right now and i decree a yes. new heart a brand new heart oh father god oh lord that he'll never be weak he'll never have loss because of heart pain or heart failure or or uh, from the enzymes lord to the uh, to the malfunction of the heart, to the AFib, the up, yes. the down, the, oh God, we just abolish it all. Yes. And God, just give him a new heart, oh God, in Jesus yes. name we pray. Amen. Amen. I know that you receive that. Keep those, uh, keep those requests coming in. Amen. And uh, I know that you will be blessed. Amen. We're going to do communion here in just a little bit, not right this second. So if you do not have a communion cup, all of you, I see, you know, Reno Trevino and Nancy Alvarez and Steve and Diane Clark. Get up, get you a little cracker, get you a piece of bread. Amen. Join communion with me. This is a Amen. precious, precious time. You know, I've noticed some numbers drop off sometime when you take communion, but they should be increasing, not dropping off. This is communion with with Father God. This, this is with your Lord and Savior above all things. Yes. There's nothing more valid than your communion with the Father. Amen. Yes. So go go ahead, get your communion ready. And while you're doing that, I want to share uh, just a little bit more 
you know, I've been talking with you about how Israel has come out and how that, you know, we got to look at our land of promise. And, uh, you know, but one thing about Israel, if you can picture after Joshua brings this command and he said that, you know, uh, get yourselves ready, get up out of the place you're in, follow the Ark of the Covenant, you know, because this is a time of crossing over. Amen. And so, but listen, Israel would not dare enter the land or enter Canaan, you know, without coming in behind God's presence. So the Bible says that the priests were bearing the Ark of the Covenant, and as their feet got in the water, the Bible says that the waters of the Jordan River uh, that were overflowing its banks at that time uh, began to roll back. Now, how God does that? That is a supernatural miracle. Uh, some you know, the scholars see that the waters roll back, you know, miles and miles, you know, in in the, in the farther direction, and the waters begin to roll back there, and it was like waves rolling backwards, you know, to open up, to open up the, the Jordan River. And the Bible says that when that opened up, amen, that the priest had to put their feet in the water first, amen, so that Israel then could follow through, amen, behind the Ark of the Covenant. Come on, sometimes you can want to just cross over and think you don't need anybody or think you can do it all yourself or you don't want to, you don't want to have to be teachable. You don't have to be disciplined. You don't want to have to, you know, you just think, well, we can just do that ourselves. But Israel did not dare to try to get ahead of the Ark of the Covenant. What do you say, an apostle? I'm saying that this is a very serious season and time in the kingdom of God. And we must learn to follow the Ark of the Covenant, the presence of God, the priests that are bearing it, and the divine order that God has set in place. You know, you can go from place to place and order may vary. But the thing is, is the place where God has you. And where God has you, you want to follow after the ark. You want to follow after your pastors, follow after your apostles, follow after your leaders. Come on now. Don't allow a spirit of pride to, to try to get you to promote yourself or to put yourself ahead of the ark of the covenant. Come on. This is a very serious time of crossing over. Amen. And so Israel would not dare get ahead of the Ark of the Covenant. As men and women of God, amen, we need, and our families, amen, we, we need to cross over this season, but we must come behind the Ark of the Presence of God. Amen. And so 2,000 cubits is, is what the, uh, the, the Joshua commanded the people. He said, I want you to stay 2,000 cubits behind the Ark of the Covenant. And I believe that what God was saying, uh, as well as other prophetic implications, but one thing he was saying was is that I don't want you to get so close that you become so familiar with it, with the anointing that you just think you can just reach out and just touch it rather than following after the Ark of the Covenant. And come on now. And so God said, this is a time of apostolic order that I'm setting in my church. Amen. Well, 2,000 cubits is a prophetic measure, uh, you know, that it gives us some insight into the specific times of our timing of our crossing over. I believe that we're in a prophetic crossover time right now. I'm looking at many of you online, Timothy Ross and, and Kathy Palota and and other ones that I know, uh, you know, the uh, Ron and Cheryl Pilota, I know Jerry and, and Star Webb, and, and many of you that are up on board tonight, amen, that uh, it, how we cross over in this season is very, very important, amen. You don't want to get the cart ahead of the horse. I believe that we are in a prophetic season, a prophetic time, and we're getting ready to witness and see a crossing over uh, you know, that is supernatural. Amen. So Jesus Christ, we see scripturally would become the fulfillment of the Ark of the Covenant or the vessel of the presence of God under the new covenant. Amen. And Jesus began to uh, take that place of fulfillment of the Ark of the Covenant. And in Colossians 2, 9 says that he was God in the flesh and in him dwelt the fullness of the Godhead. Amen. I would, if he was in front of me, personally, I'd say, say fullness. You might say fullness right where you're at. He wasn't partial, a little. No, he was the 
fullness of the Godhead. Amen. Uh, interestingly, you know, we are right now about 2,000 years after Jesus made his appearance on earth. Prophetically, prophetically speaking, you know, that seems to give us a symbolic time uh, for our revolutionary crossing over into this promised land. I really believe, Pastor Donetta, that we're in a time of crossing over, crossing over into the promises, crossing over into the fulfillment, crossing over into new measures of warfare, crossing over into possessing our Canaan inheritance. Hosea 6 and 2 says that after two days that he will revive us. And in the third day, he will raise us up and we will live in his sight. Now, this also lends to support the same possibility. Joshua told the armies of Israel, in three days, we will cross over this Jordan. Come on. I believe in, 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 uh, you know, in the prophetic being symbolic through the scripture. Second Peter 2 and 8 says that with the Lord, a day is as a thousand years. So if we were to use these mathematics, you know, after two days translates after 2,000 years, then he will revive us. Come on, we are right on the right in the brink of a breakthrough and of a supernatural, you know, that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, you know, things that we have not even ascertained or known before. I believe that our generation is living in the appointed time, in the appointed time for crossing over for the Elijah revolution revival that God is ready to release upon the land. If I look at the word revive, you know, that God will, re after three days, he will revive us. In Hebrew, this word is kaya, which means to live prosperously. It means to restore, to revive uh, from sickness. It means uh, to revive from discouragement, from faintness, amen, and even from death. Come on, this is this is a time that God says, I will revive you and I will keep you, amen, for my, my perfect time and season as we follow after the ark of the covenant. These blessings are a hope and a promise, listen, that we can latch, latch, latch on to right here on earth now. Come on, I, I believe we can latch, latch, on, latch on to it right now. I'm, I know I'm letting my faith reach out and say, God, not my will, but your will be done. John the Baptist said, I must decrease so that Christ can increase on the inside of me. You know, when I had my angelic visitation, that encounter that I had with God uh, many, many years ago, close to 50 years ago now, when I had that encounter, amen, those are the words of, the, the, of, the, of, of God that I heard in my spirit. I didn't read it on pages until later, but I heard it in my spirit that I must decrease so that God can increase on the inside of me. How many of you would like to fulfill that? Do you just raise your hand with me right now in Jesus' name? Lord, this is a time of decreasing of our agenda, decreasing of, of, of just what we want. Oh, God, to where yes. we want to increase in the things of the kingdom. We want to increase, oh, God, in your thoughts, in your ways, in your attributes, and your convictions. And, and God, with your salvation, oh, Father, God, we want to align fully with the word purpose and the way of God. Lord, that the other things begin to fall away. God, you said, if I'll seek first your kingdom and your righteousness, that all these other things, they, they will just come to pass. So, Father, I pray it's in the heart of each one that is online with me tonight, oh God, to seek first your kingdom and to see your kingdom come yes. and your will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen? So God's purpose for reviving his church that we're talking about here is not so he can rapture us up and just get us out of here. Mm -hmm. You must get rid of that, you know, of that, that escapism mentality, you know, of just, you know, some glad morning when this life is where I'll fly away. Some people just <laughs> waiting to fly away. The problem is you have to die to fly and nobody wants to die to fly. So you just keep going through the same thing over and over <laughs> again. But listen, 
you know, God's not just trying to wrap us up just with, to escape or just to get us out of here, but rather he is reviving us so we can raise up as the kingdom-minded saints of God to yeah. rule his kingdoms right here on earth as it is in heaven. Come, you have given authority. You've been given authority over principalities and powers of darkness and evil. Come on. And so the Hebrew word for arise is qualm. It means to arise and become powerful to fulfill, to rise up and to impose. Psalms 149, 6 through 9. But the Bible says, this honor has each one of the saints to execute the judgments that are already written. I don't know about you, but I don't want to zip out of here until I have fulfilled the way and purposes of God. Amen. Well, praise God. Well, I hope you're getting something out of this word or you're letting it re re resonate in your spirit. You can listen back over it and hear some things that I've shared with you tonight. Amen. But listen, we are here as God's kingdom agents to fulfill his purposes on the earth. All right. Amen. So hang in there. Stay with us. Glory to God. I'm going to minister to a few more people and, and then I'm going to have uh, Brother John come back up. He's going to uh, join with me again. And uh, Brother John, you can get yourself ready. And uh, we're going to minister to a few people, and then we're going to take communion together. All right? And uh, I pray that you got up, got your cup ready, get your cracker ready, and be ready. I keep reminding you because I so want you to be a part of the communion with us tonight. Okay? Amen. God is God is so, so, so good. Amen. I want to minister to uh, a laden uh, Malarose. And uh, I, want, I want to pray for you. I've been uh, looking at your name on the screen. Okay. And then I also want to give another charge to uh, Jerry and Star Webb. All right. And uh, I know I ministered to you last week, but I'm feeling something different in my, my spirit right now. The Bible says we know in part, we prophesy in part, we prophesy part last week, part this week. Amen. And uh, if, if I had time for everybody to prophesy, all would have a different part for you. Amen. So, mm -hmm. amen. We keep our faith out. We keep believing for the word of the Lord. Uh, but Alden, I, I just hear the Lord say that this is the time of favor. It's a time of breakthrough. It's a time of breaking out. And the Lord says, I want you to take back literally the years that the enemies tried to rob, steal, and and kill and the Lord said this is the day of new beginning for you and God said your future does not look anything like your past God said the past is finished it is over and God said the future is brighter I hear the Lord say financial breakthrough and prosperity uh, there's some uh, uh, financial things that are uh, you didn't even wasn't even aware of Alden uh, that God says I'm going to give you a miracle with it and God said that the debts are going to be paid and, and I hear the word solid foundation and God said I want you to come back Alden re-examine your foundation first Corinthians chapter Chapter three says that every man's foundation will be tried by fire. And God said, you've been in the fire, son. And God said, you've been going through a proving process. But I hear the Lord say, you've passed the test, but now you're going to have to give it your very best. And God said, you're going to have to walk by faith, Alden, and not by sight. And God said, you'll see the kingdom light. And God said, it'll bring you through the night. And God said, there's a greater future and promise that I have before you. Listen, I just see a lot of tears, a lot of crying, a lot of weeping in your own heart, Alden. But I hear God say, I, I know I know your pain, and I know where the enemy tried to shame you, and I know where the enemy tried to falsely blame you. But God said, I, I will deliver you, and I will set you free. And the Bible says, Alden, that when God makes you free, you are free indeed. So, Father, I just charge, Alden, right now, by the power of your word. Let the life of the Spirit, O oh God, Lord, thrive on the inside of him. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, Jerry and Star. Uh, Web and and to all of your your dar darling children and that brand new baby girl, uh, Kayla. Amen. We just uh, release a fresh anointing upon upon your household. And I, I'm hearing the words of Isaiah that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard of the magnitude of the the greatness that God will yet reveal upon the earth. And uh, Jerry and Star, there's a revelation of heaven. Uh, you know, remember Peter. 
uh, when he was on the housetop in a, it was like a, a huge sheet came out of heaven. And what happened was, is that it was bringing fresh revelation. You might say that present truth revelation. And God said, I'm bringing present truth revelation to the two of you in this season that is going to transform your life. Your family is going to transform your ministry, says the Lord. And God says that two months, two months. And God said, I'm going to be shifting you to a whole new level, says the Lord. I actually are hearing the word breakout. God is breaking you out, just like he sent angels to break Peter and John out of jail. God says, I'm breaking you out, says the Lord. And out of your spirit will become a great shout. And even uh, those that are with you, the, the multitude, says the Lord, there will be a great shout. God said, because of a freedom of the spirit. It listen. You're going to see more revival fires. You're going to see more uh, activation of the prophetic word of the Lord. And all the decrees will begin to shake the heavens and shake the earth, says the Lord. And God said, you are not living in a blessing time and blessing model of the prophetic. You're living in a time of warfare of the prophetic. And peace, people will begin to prophesy to the airways and those Things that are, uh, that are not as though they are, says the Lord. And so God said, this is a time I'm going to refresh you. I'm going to energize you. And, and God said, your provision is going to increase. And I believe, Jerry and Star, you is just believing God humbly for $3,000 to get 1,000 souls saved. And I hear God say, double it, double it double it, triple it. And God said, uh, watch me. I'll bless the socks off of you, says the Lord. Father, I just charge Jerry and Star Web right now by the power of your word in Jesus' name. And God's going to raise people up that will just sow a seed to you, uh, Jerry and Star, uh, to get uh, an impartation of the evangel prof prophet evangelist uh, that God has set upon your lives. Father, just thank you right now. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, amen, amen, amen. Do you have somebody else? Uh, I, actually, the Lord gave me two, Melanie Rodriguez, Melanie Rodriguez, and uh, Lauren Nicole. I believe I got that right. Okay. Melanie Rodriguez. As I sat down here, <clears throat> the Lord was saying there's a, a heavy spirit of infirmity that's trying to come against you. And I believe the Lord is saying, we need to pray against that spirit of infirmity. Oh so we just God, come against God, that Jesus. spirit right now, God, Melanie, that, no, no, no. that, Jesus. that weapon that's trying to form against you will not prosper. The Lord says, but that, uh, foul spirit of infirmity, we break that off of you right yes, now. We know right that now, the Jesus Lord name. right now says, pick up that mat ooh, and walk ooh, again, yes, that nothing, nothing will bring you down. Melanie, nothing, not that, uh, uh foul spirit. I can just see the Lord is healing from the tip of the head to the bottom of the feet. And I and I can just see uh, the old uh, cliche, if you will. He's just shaking that towel and he's straightening things out and he's making things whole again. And so, Melanie, I, I just I encourage you to, to walk in those things. Don't let anything that's trying to come against you. Uh, were you just walk in the faith that the Lord has given you and know that the past is the past and the future is what we need to look forward to. And the wow. Lord is saying <clears throat> in this season that you're about to walk through, I believe the Lord is saying that you're going to touch those and they're going to be healed also. I, I can just see, see the fire yeah. in your hands as you're walking through that one after another is going to start to get uh, the healing. But we may not see it, the Lord says, that uh, there's always uh, uh, a testimony to come forth. And I believe without the test, there is no testimony. And the Lord says there's going to be a mighty testimony that's going to come through, uh, Melanie, for you. So I seal that word over Melanie, and I thank you for it, Lord, in Jesus' name. And for Lauren, uh, Nicole, I believe, <laughs> I've seen in, in lights, the Lord is saying, turn the page. I can just see that. You've, you've kind of walked through this chapter in your life and the Lord is saying, turn the page and know that that chapter in your life was, was a strong chapter. But uh, sometimes we walk through some things so that we can help others walk through. And, and I, I believe the Lord was just showing me that there was just uh, a, a time that you were in the valley. And as you was walking in this valley, you kind of asked, Lord, why me? Why am I walking through this? And the Lord is saying, you'll see in an abundant way why you had to walk through those things because sometimes we have to raise those people up and push those people forward. And I believe the Lord has given you uh, a desire 
to be in the prophetic. And I believe that the Lord is saying it's time to be trained up and so that you can be called up and that you can be uh, pushed forward in, in, in the prophetic. And, and I can just see that as you Amen. gather yourself Amen. with like-minded people, they're going to help you to get to that level, to get to that point where the Lord is trying to call you into. And so we seal that word over, Lord, and we thank yes, you for it, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 We're going to break right here, and uh, we're going to receive our communion. So if you have your communion cup and your, your bread ready, amen, uh, you just uh, this is the time for every word that has been spoken, for every prophecy, you know, for every prayer request, for yeah. uh, all the interaction online, for all of your comments and everything that is being said, everything that we are doing right now as we take communion, amen, we're decreeing that we're walking in the new covenant, amen, and that the covenant blessings of God are upon your life and on every prayer request that has come in, uh, the blessings of God are covering you right now. And as we partake of, of the bread, he said, as often as we eat of that bread, amen, that this is a representation of his body that was broken for us. Listen, we can prophesy till we're blue in the face by the spirit. But listen, there's nothing more powerful than the blood of Jesus. That is the redemptive work on Calvary. And, and you are healed by the stripes that he bore on his back and the life that price that he paid for you. Amen. So as we eat of this bread right now, I just believe it is the bread of the new covenant, the bread of your miracle, the bread of your healing, the bread of life. Amen. That becomes part of all that we are in Jesus name. We pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. I'm going to eat two crackers. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yes. Double healing. Double anointing. I like receiving communion with Brother Brother Webb, you know, they like to have a big cracker, a big <laughs> cup of juice. <laughs> Damn, man, just so, can't, get enough, can't get enough. Can't get can't enough. Can't get enough. Mm -mm. Can't get enough. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus said to the apostles, as often as we will, as often as we'll drink of this cup, mm -hmm. as often as we'll do this, do this in remembrance of him, of his blood that was shed on Calvary for the remission of our sins, for the healing of our bodies, for the deliverance of our soul, for the protection of our families. Amen. His blood covers a multitude of sin. Amen. And so we're going to partake of this cup right now. Amen. It is the cup of the new covenant. Amen. We're not under the law. We're, not, we're under grace. Amen. Through faith. Amen. And uh, the things of the law that, 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 that Jesus, that God established upon the earth, amen, all become part of the Son, amen. And so our full relationship is not through the blood of Jesus that was shed on Calvary for us. And Lord, I just pray that miracle healing, the prophetic words, the everything that has gone forth right now will become life of the Spirit in each one. Oh, Father, that miracle healing that we've been praying for tonight, God, let it be evidence, oh, God, even through their communion. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Mm. Mm. God is good. God is good. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Father, the Thank moments you, Lord, that we say. take to celebrate mm. our Praise communion, you, the moments that we take to just celebrate you, Oh, God, that is far reaching above anything that we can imagine in our own mind. So, God, we just give you glory now in Jesus name. Jesus Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I'm going to invite another uh, brother Martin to come back up and I'm going to challenge him to. Amen. He's been meditating on a few people there and uh, just to go ahead and, and begin to share the word of the Lord with a, a couple of people. Amen. I want to call up Diane Carol Walker. Okay. And then after her, I'm going to call up Flora, Flora Curtis. Okay. Diane, I hear a song for you. I hear this song say, hold on. Change is coming. Hold on. Don't worry about a thing. God don't want you to worry. God wants you to focus on him. Mm. The word of God said, thou will keep him in perfect peace, All whose right. mind is stayed on thee, Amen. because he trusts in thee. 
Amen. So in your focus on God, God wants you to praise him. See, praise defeats the enemy in your life, okay? Praise will take out that spirit of infirmity that's trying to torment your body, okay? The devil wants you to be focused on your pain. God wants you to be focused on his ability because he said with him, all things are possible. All you got, all you have to do is believe and receive by faith and praise him for the victory. Father God, in mm. Jesus' name, Lord, we pray, Father God, that you move by your Holy Spirit, that you touch Sister Walker from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, oh yes, God. Yes, yes. Lord, heal her in Jesus' name, oh God. Hallelujah, oh God. Hallelujah, oh God. Let it come, Lord. Make her body perfect, oh God. Perfect her, oh God, according to your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Laura Curtis, I hear a word of the Lord for you. I hear strength. Okay. Hallelujah. I hear, let the weak say I'm strong. There's strength and weakness. Hallelujah. And in that weakness is your strength and is God's grace. Because his yeah. grace is sufficient for thee. All you got to do is just rejoice in the Lord and say it and let the weak say I'm strong. I also hear another word for you justice i hear justice okay people that did you wrong god is going to do justice in your life don't worry just keep your eyes focused on jesus see the devil wants to draw you when people do you wrong the devil devil wants to draw your attention away from jesus christ when mm -hmm. jesus said hallelujah vengeance is mine said the lord i will repay you back okay it's just like a man. I, I, I'm sitting over here. I saw your name. It's just like a man on a professional baseball team. He hits a single. He's running around the bases, okay? All of a sudden, he stepped on the ground the wrong way. He sprained his ankle. And then they'll come out. Two men come out. They're carrying him back into the dugout. I can see God carrying you. Hallelujah. He got his arms around you. He's supporting you. All you got to do is trust him. And fear not, fear not in Jesus' name. Father God, we seal this word over Sister Curtis. Oh God, we pray, Father God, that you move by your Holy Spirit, Lord, that you would touch up on the top of her head to the soles of her feet, oh God. Strengthen her mind, her body, her soul in mm. Jesus' name, oh God. Lord, keep her trust keep in her. thee, oh God. Keep her trust in thee, oh God. Hallelujah, oh God. Hallelujah. You said in your word, I'll never leave you or I forsake you. Forsake. In yeah. Jesus' name Jesus we pray. Name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, uh, Father Mark, for, for sharing that word. And I, I can feel that charge going out to the ones that have been prayed for. BJ, you want to come back in the hot seat and just, you know, and uh, minister to a couple more people, and then I'm going yes. to... Uh, close by calling out some people and a little further ministry. Okay. Amen. I first want to minister to Jacqueline Garcia. And after Jacqueline, I want to minister to, is it Candy Harrington? Jacqueline, I heard the Lord say this is a time that it seems like a time of a lot of tests. But he said it's not so much a lot of tests as it is I'm breaking some things off. He said there's been some things that's just been hanging on you. It's almost like some chains been weighing on you for a long time. But God said, I am breaking the chains. And he said, I'm breaking the shackles off of your feet so you can dance. He said, so you can be the worshiper and the anointed worshiper that you would you desire to be. And God said, worship is your portion. He said, that's what I've given you. And he said, I'm going to take your worship even to a whole new level, says the Lord. Sure. And he said, there's many things that even during worship, he said, you'll begin to do things and you'll begin to cry out in a way that's like no other. And he said, as you do that, you will bring down many, many things, many things that need broken, the atmosphere shall be broken. And he said, even your songs shall have a new tune, says the Lord. He said, there'll be some that lift up. And he said, there'll be some that pull down. But God said, just know that the anointing that I placed on the inside of you, it's real and it will never be taken back. He said, nothing shall separate you from my love, says the Lord. And he said, you're the apple of his eye. Mm. So, Father God, we charge Jacqueline Garcia yes, with yes, that. Yes, right In now, Jesus' that name we Jesus pray. Name, and for Candy Harrington, I heard him say that, the, that you were like a sweet savor unto the Lord. 
he said that you have been one that has a intercessory on the inside of you and you've been interceding and interceding and even sometimes you felt like lord i prayed so many prayers and i'm not seeing this but god said just know candy that i am behind the scenes and i am yes, doing greater yes, yes, things greater, than what you greater. can see and he said i'm going to bring some things back around that you will see the results of your prayers says the lord and he said even those family and those friends that others tell you to give up on that you have been faithful over god said i've heard those prayers he said, don't give up, but continue to push forward. Pray and pray and pray until something happens, says the Lord. And he said, don't take on the responsibility that you have to handle everything. God said, the battle is mine. I can handle those things. But he said, you just have to surrender them. He said, as you surrender those things, he said, you're just going to feel the weight just come off of your shoulders and off of your life. And he said, you're going to feel like that you have some new shoes on your feet so that you can walk in new paths, says the Lord. And he said, I'm going to light things up for you. I'm going to promote you in some things and I'm going to take you into some deep, deep things that will make sense to you, even if they don't make sense to others, says the Lord. Mm -hmm. So, Father yes, God, Father we charge Christ. Candy Harrington with this Why word. Jesus. Lord, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done in every area of her life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Why don't you do one more? Let me do one more. Yeah, okay. just stretch your faith a little bit. And amen. I see Sherry Bright Calvig. Sherry, I heard the Lord say he is bringing some real healing, some intense, deep healing. And it's not just to your physical body, but it's even to your emotions and even to your mind, says the Lord. And he says there's been some things that's even been generational curses in your family line. But he said you're gaining some knowledge that will break those generational curses, that will stop those things. He said you are the cycle breaker. He said you're the game changer. He said when people think they know your game, you're going to be the game changer, said wow. the Lord. Wow. And he said even those dreams and those visions that I've given you in the night. He said, I want you to begin to get paper and pen by your bedside to write those down. He said, because those things will be revealed. What I'm actually saying, even in those dreams and the real vision of what I have on the inside for you, says the Lord. He said, I'm going to reveal it to you. But he said, I want you to begin to journal those down because those are going to be in the book that you're going to write, says the Lord. And he said, even if you think I'm not one that can write, I'm, I, he said, I will send others by that will help you. He said, they will help you. They'll even be a publisher that will help you says the Lord he said think not that you can't do the things I've given you and he said there'll be no weapon formed against you prosper yes. said the Lord Amen. and he said you are not to have fear because you are fearfully and wonderfully made and as in Jeremiah 29 11 he said has plans to prosper you and not to harm you but the Lord said hold on tight and just push forward with everything you got says the Lord in Jesus name I pray Amen. Amen amen so good so good so good amen a couple of few people i want to uh, call out here we're in our our closing minutes right now amen but uh catherine kukas uh i just want to release a fresh charge uh into your spirit catherine and uh then i'm going to pray for raquel meyer amen which is uh, right above uh catherine there but uh catherine i hear god say that daughter i purposed you I planned you, I kept you, and the Lord said, uh, even when it looked like you was, you know, at the end of your road, and you didn't know what was going to be the next turn, God said, I have never, never failed you, and I've always been there with you, and God says that, uh, I'm going to bring you out of this season, God said, with rejoicing, with a high hand, and God says, but you're getting ready to enter into a whole new chapter of your life, and God said, you cannot compare your future to your past, but God yeah. says that, as you trust me, God says, I'm, I'm putting new shoes on your feet and you'll walk on new ground, says the Lord. And God said, the joy of the Lord will strengthen you. And God said, my grace will, will position you. And God said, my power will fulfill you. And God said, this is a time of fresh grace upon your life, Catherine. And the Lord said, this is not a time to look back or want to go back. But God said, you keep pressing on in and you'll see the favor of the Lord upon your household your family upon all that concerns and pertains to you says 
the Lord. So, Father, just bless Catherine right now and just a prophetic anointing, a mantle of the prophetic to rest upon her, God, that will refresh her, bless her, that will keep her, that will fuel her, and God, that will fulfill her. In Jesus' name, I pray. Raquel uh, Meyer, want to pray for you. And uh, amen. We just give uh, glory to God for you, Raquel. And I hear God say that uh, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Uh, God said of the fullness of all that I have for you. And God says, Raquel, uh, you, I've given you the gift of faith. And the Lord said, as you begin to walk by faith and not by sight, you'll see the kingdom light. And God said, I am walking beside you to help you fight this good fight of faith, says the Lord. And Raquel, you, you walk under the blessing and under the promises of your heavenly father. Now listen, it just doesn't matter how many things have happened against you or what has gone on around you. What matters is what God says about you. And the Lord said, you keep your eyes on me. And God said, I'll restore back to you the years that the canker worm, caterpillar have eaten away, says the Lord. And God said, the joy of the Lord will strengthen you. And God said, your better days, your better ways are yet in front of you, says the Lord. Sing a song unto the Lord, Raquel. Let your voice begin to be unleashed. And God said, I'll use the power of your song to break, God said, the strongholds of the enemy. Father, just charge Raquel in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. I want to pray for uh, is a Carlotta Waldman, Carlotta Waldman. And uh, wow, Carlotta, as I begin to pray for you, I can hear like a sea, like a whirlwind. And God said, this is the time. I'm going to stir some things up. I'm going to shake some things up. And God said, I'm going to break some things up. And God said, well, then we're going to make some things up, says the Lord. And God says, I'm repositioning you. You know, I use my GPS driving and sometimes it reroutes you because of an accident or because of some catastrophe or something. And it'll reroute you. You know, you have to you have to take that route by faith because it doesn't really show you anything. You know, and following after the, the leading of the Holy Spirit, sometimes you can't see. You walk by faith and not by sight. But Carolina, I hear God say, say uh, that you have fought a good fight daughter and the lord said i'm fighting for you and uh, god said heaven is on your side and god said don't fear the night don't fear the fight and and don't pay attention to the fright but god said keep your eye on the kingdom light and you'll shine bright it'll bring you all the way through it, uh, just like isaiah says to a new day says the lord a new day is dawning for you so father bless carlotta in jesus name i pray amen Hey, man, God's good. I see Valid Hayes online with me right now. And Valid, I hear the Lord say, I put you in this race, and I'm going to help you keep the pace. And God says that you're not going to lag behind, fall behind, but you're going to be right on time. And Valid, God says, I have so much more for you. And God said, there's power in you. There's authority in you. There's grace upon you. And I just see the Holy Spirit just beginning to uh, is stir up that well, that reservoir on the inside of you. And Vala, you must walk by faith and not by sight, says the Lord. And God says, stand up, daughter, and begin to fight the good fight of faith and see the salvation of the Lord upon your life. Father, just charge a Vala right now. In Jesus' name, I pray. Timothy Ross, I hear God say that you've done well, son. You stayed in the race even when you felt like you was losing ground and you felt like, God, where are you? God says, I've been right there with you, says the Lord. And Timothy, God is helping you to walk through some things right now. And the Lord said, this is not a time, son, that you want to waver on in anything, says the Lord. Stand firm in your faith. And God says, uh, let your decrees be yes and amen, says the Lord. This is not a time to waver, but it is a time, uh, God said, to see the hand of the Savior on your behalf. And I hear God say, uh, you just entered a new chapter. And there's a fresh wind of the Spirit that is breathing upon you and breathing upon your household, breathing upon your children and your children's children. And God said, this is the time, Timothy, of the favor of the Lord. And what the enemy is wrongfully taken away is going to come back to you in, in greater measures, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, says the Lord. Father, I just, Lord, we just thank you for Timothy Ross, a faithful man, Father. And God, let your blessing be upon him, that conquering anointing that he conquers 
and he overcomes all the wiles of the enemy. In Jesus' name, I pray. And Ron and Cheryl Palota, I just uh, I was looking at your name and just trying to say, God, I, I they they just enjoy hearing the prophetic word and they just enjoy hearing prophetic preaching. But uh, as I kept looking at your name, just the Lord said to tell you that as you're in love with me, I'm in love with you. And uh, through the love of the Father, I see a miracle healing coming into your bodies and you're going to be stronger today than you have ever been, says the Lord. And Ron, set your sights higher, says the Lord. I've given you that gift of faith to be a proclaimer, to be one that will decree my word on earth as it is in heaven, yes. says the Lord. But Ron, you're going to have to fight a good fight. And Cheryl, I just see you coming up. All of a sudden, you start to climb your mountain. And God said, uh, your mountaintops are yet before you. And I'm energizing you. I give you what you need, says the Lord. Oh, you're going to get to the top of your mountain through praise, through worship, through a sacrifice that you bring unto the Lord. And God said, as you focus on me, I'm focusing on you, all that pertains to you, your family, your finance, your business, your ministry, all, all that I've, I've called you to. God said, as you focus on me, I am focusing on you, says the Lord. Father, I just charge them right now by the power of your word in Jesus' name. I pray God is so good, isn't he? Amen. Amen. I see, uh, is that Makisha Taylor? Makisha Taylor. And uh, Makisha, the Lord said, this is the time of the favor of the Lord. And God says, don't look to the right or the left. Don't, uh, don't allow fright in the night. God said, but rather fight the good fight of faith. And God says that you're not in this race because I have forsaken you or because others have promoted you to. You're in this race because I put it in your heart to, says the Lord. And God says, Makisha, you've been faithful with the little things. And now I'm able to give you greater things, says the Lord. And so God says, get up on your feet. Run your race again. And Makisha, this time, this time you're going to break through, says the Lord. Father, just charge her now by the power of your grace. In Jesus' name, I pray. I want to pray for Amber Prather. Uh, Amber Prather, real quick. And uh, Amber, I hear the Lord say, the sky is the limit. And God says that as, as you lift your faith higher, you're going to see the grace. You're going to see the favor. You're going to see the power and the manifest presence of God like you have never seen before. And Amber, you're not where you're at by accident or by choice or by, you know, just like this is where I ended up in my life. God says, no. No, I've had my hand on your life, your entire life, says the Lord. Before you was conceived in your mother's womb, I knew you, Amber. And God said, I've kept you. But now, God said, you're in a new season. And I heard the Lord said, be careful how you fight in this particular season. Uh, you don't fight out of your wounds. You don't fight out of your loss. You don't fight out of your pain. And God said, you fight for the cause of my kingdom on earth as it is in heaven, says the Lord. And God said, as you fight that fight, God said, heaven will fight your fight, says the Lord. Father, I just charge Amber Prather right now, God, that this is a new day, oh God, for increase in her, new joy in her, new peace in her, a new setting, uh, Amber. God, God is going to reset you in life, in ministry and a purpose and with that entrepreneur anointing upon your life god is resetting you for such a time as this father charge and bless her in jesus name amen i want to pray for jay uh, horace black i want to pray for you and uh jay i hear god say dig deeper and uh remember uh in the scripture where uh, the kings had circled around a mountain multiple of times and uh, it's a time where they run out of provision, they run out of everything. Then they wondered, why are we here? Then the word of the Lord came to them and said, just begin to dig ditches. You know what? You can go through so much in your life, Jay. And, and then, then all of a sudden, God said, just begin to dig ditches. Well, God, I'm thirsty. I'm tired. I'm weary. I'm wore out. You know, and now you want me to dig ditches? God said, yes, because I'm getting ready to cause a deluge of heaven to begin to wash over you. You dig your faith ditches, says the Lord. And God said, you're going to see the salvation of the Lord. I will fight your battles for you, and I will conquer all that the enemy tried to position against you, says the Lord. Jay, your God's hand is upon you. 
and he's called you and he's kept you and he'll fulfill you for such a time as this. That there's just a deep reservoir of anointing in you. And God says, don't let your pain, don't let your weariness, don't let fatigue, God says, rob you of fulfilling that joy that I've called you to, says the Father. Now, Lord, I just pray right now for every name that remains on the screen. Yes. God, there are so many. And yet we have ministered to almost 40 people tonight. And yet there are so many. And I pray that you have heard a prophetic word tonight and that you had the faith to reach out and say, I receive that word into my own heart and spirit. Shelly White, you know, God says, just reach out, grab hold of that word. And God says, don't let go of my word. You're going to come out of this night season. You're going to come out, uh, God said, as a bright light. And God said, you're going to shine for me in my kingdom. And Shelly, release a song to the Lord. And God said, I will bless your song, says the Lord. And you'll know my favor like you've never known. Father, every name on the screen right now. God, let your glory rest upon them. Your peace be upon them. Oh, Lord, your favor work within them. Lord, your power be seen through them in Jesus' name. For all of you, I hear the Lord say, this is the time of set up. And God said, I'm setting you up just like uh, I use Moses and, and Israel and Aaron. I use them to set up uh, the camp for Pharaoh's destruction. And the Lord said, I will use you as a kingdom set up to destroy your enemies, says the Lord. God says, so that you can cross over into your Canaan promise in this season. And God said, it'll be a time of fulfillment and reward that I release upon your life. You have to reach out and take hold of the promises of God and receive them and as yes and amen in your life. Amen. God is so good. Well, listen, we have fulfilled our time tonight. We'll be coming back to you live again next Thursday night in Ventura, California. You won't want to miss that. It's going to be a glorious time together. Amen. Remember this weekend, our ministry equipping school. It's not too late to go online at cicentral.net and register there and be a part of our evangelism training uh, that is coming up just shortly. Pastor Donnett, is there another announcement I need to make? Or, You know, I would like to challenge everybody that gets online with us to seriously pray about sowing a seed. There's something about your seed that goes Amen. into the ground that causes us to prosper spiritually, but it causes you to prosper physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially, a reward will come back to you. Amen. So uh, please pray about going online. Uh, we have that information online for you there. Amen. And plan to sow a seed or to uh, cash app, just Dr. Leon Walters. Uh, you can sow seed that way. Amen. But find a way to get that seed out of your hand. Amen. The ground needs your seed. If you hold your seed, it will spoil in your hand. But if you get it out of your hand and get it planted, amen, that seed can begin to grow and prosper. Amen. So we encourage you in the Lord. We love all of you. Amen. Spread the good news and we'll see you back again next week. God bless you. Amen.